I look after a team of 23 um, across a, a number of different marketing functions from commercial, so like Vicky's area, analytics, Gosha that you spoke to, um, digital and direct and e-commerce, um, aggregators and also um, customer experience and also partnerships marketing. So quite a wide variety of what we do across the marketing mix. Um, and I think, you know, it's fair to say the reason I was interested in this course was because we're going through a massive change at the moment. And I was just keen for my team and my direct reports particularly to get a better understanding of change and how to embrace it and how to not be scared of it and how to make the most of it. I think kind of looking back over the last eight months, I actually feel like more of a leader than I ever have right now. And I don't know whether it's because of COVID, because of the sheer amount of change that we're having to go through. But I think, you know, you, you often end up kind of managing people and talking about tasks and things. And actually, I've had to step up and go, you know what, it's about people first, communication and making sure that people have got the skills to help them through all of this. The tasks and the marketing will get done because we've got expertise across the whole team to do all of that. But actually, it's about giving the softer skills um, and the support and the communication. So I really feel like I've, I've changed what I do. It's not about the marketing so much. It is about the leadership. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely been challenging. But the real positives that have come from it are those actual authentic leadership skills that I wasn't sure I had. But actually, I feel quite proud of myself that I have. We're based in Birmingham, so it's always been a bit, oh, I'm not sure we can do it. I'm not sure we can do that. But actually, it being virtual was the first reason that I could go. Actually, the guys in Birmingham that are based up there could definitely be part of this just as much as I can living in Cardiff um, so that was one of the first reasons but also because it was about change and everything we're going through right now is about change um, and it just kind of spoke to me really um, the fact that it would be kind of an element of coaching but also about the theory so a nice mix of the two I'm not sure it's necessarily any of the particular modules I think it's knowing that other people are in exactly the same situation was the best bit but actually the issues, the management, you know, the leadership styles, the sheer volume of change and prioritisation, we were all going through the same sorts of things. Um, and it was also good because we were also at different stages of that change. So we're probably a little more in the dark because we've only just been taken over. We know change is coming, but we don't know what it looks like. Whereas some of those other organisations had been through that curve and they were on their way up and they were trying to to build what it meant from a team perspective and an objectives perspective around what that change looks like and how to implement it. So I think that was the most helpful bit for me. Um, and I think, you know, thinking about my team as well, I think it was good just to, to chat through in more of a kind of coaching approach. So it didn't feel like a lot of the modules were, you know, this is the theory and we're going to work through it. It was more, OK, guys, this is a bit of guidance around the theory. Let's have a bit of a chat about it. How does this feel for you? Um, read this book if you want to. It's really good. Um, and it felt actually like we were having seven lots of coaching sessions over a, a period of time, um, which I've had in the past and I'm continuing to have. But I know my team haven't. Um, so I was keen to make sure that everyone had access to that kind of support, really. So I think, you know, just kind of thinking back over the last few sessions, I think the, the things that really resonated with me is about that leadership can come from any level. Um, so I can't even remember which module that was. I think it was a bit of a thread throughout all of them, really. Um, so you can lead even if you're not a leader and also that leaders can just be managers that happen to be in a leadership position and therefore, you know, not perhaps showing some of the traits that we'd expect from leaders um, there was a nice conversation a couple of weeks ago about you know you'd expect a leader just to be able to take on strategy and be able to to lead people and be empathetic you know, but no one actually teaches these things um, so I think it's it's kind of yeah it just resonates really well with some of the leaders that we find ourselves working with and perhaps trying to understand them a little more and, and why they're you know facing some of the challenges they are um, and then obviously the, the whole you know, change curve and, and how we embed that positivity um, in the future. So understanding that the feelings that we're having and, you know, the way that we're acting and things is absolutely normal. Um, yeah. And it's good sometimes to see those change curves and S curves and all that sort of thing, just to go, actually, yes, I'm here, but I know <laughs> we'll get there. To take it step by step and that, you know, change needs to be learnt. Um, so it's not just something that, you know, you have to say, everyone's going through change, you just have to accept it and move on. You learn along the way and that you can't just implement a whole load of change without bringing people along with you and without thinking about how, how that might be agile in your implementation as well. Um, so there was quite a few 
pieces of the modules where we talked about, you know, really embedding the strategy, making sure that people were taken on that journey and that it takes time um, and how to assess the change that's needed to go through. So I think, you know, there was probably nothing new in any of the modules, but it was a really great refresher, particularly at the time that we were at, um, to just kind of, you know, send a light bulb off and go, OK, you know, that makes sense. Yes, I need to think about that. I'll read that. I'll mention that to the team. It's got to make sure that you lead from the front. And if you're saying yes to every meeting and killing your diary and not having any time for yourself and not looking after your own well-being, people won't believe it when you say that to them as well, because, you know, you're leading from the front and your expectations are higher than yeah. um, than they should be. Yeah, uh, I think that was a real um, light bulb moment for me.